Public health. It's about the health and well-being of everyone, everywhere. That seems a little too big to think about. We're going to help you break it down. On Population Healthy, the podcast from the University of Michigan School of Public Health, we dive into specific stories to help you understand the big challenges and the big possibilities. And we're doing that by talking with experts who take us into their science to make it relevant, help you learn, and to live a healthier life. In the latest season, we cover topics ranging from the health effects of finding purpose in your life. If we can improve people's sense of purpose, they tend to start making less fear-activated choices. To air pollution. Air pollution is most certainly a universal concern. Children, the elderly, and people with chronic diseases are often more sensitive to the exposures than others. From one professor's journey using high-level mathematics to solve biomedical problems. I could see the translation of abstract mathematics into complex problems in biomedical sciences, environmental health, cancer. And it has been a dream, a fairy tale, a data-driven fairy tale to the day-to-day experiences of Michigan's migrant farm workers. The biggest challenges that we face in implementation of these kinds of studies stem from the fact that this is a population of workers who have been marginalized, who are often very invisible, who are at high risk of being exploited. And so because of this, there is always this underlying fear, mistrust, and rightly so. And much more. There is an assumption in the general public that high weight is bad and that people in larger bodies who have health problems, it is their weight that is to blame. And there's lots of research that shows doctors are spending less time with patients in larger bodies and providing them less intervention. You can't have race neutral policy proposals that directly affect and address race specific problems. Between vaccination for HPV and screening for early detection, if we had that running in a full scale, we could ultimately eradicate cervical cancer. One of the things that we've been talking a lot about at the state level and also with local health departments is how do we rebuild trust? How do we regain the trust that was lost during the pandemic? If you want to learn how to make the world a healthier, more equitable place, look for Population Healthy from the University of Michigan School of Public Health, wherever you listen to podcasts, and subscribe today.